Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFansiers. So right after making the installation video on Realme Pad, a lot of people requested, uh, I need to revert back bro, how I can do it, I need to lock the bootloader back. Honestly, I like this Arrow OS and especially the recent update has lot of improvements. But what to do? At the end of the day, I have to revert it at least to record and make a video out of it. Knowing how to revert the things back and setting it as like earlier is really really important to avail the warranty. So I always try to do it. Here we go. Realme Pad a development journey episode 9. There are a few things that I would like to discuss and I have to thank before proceeding. We made a video on taking TWRP backup. Uh, restoring that may help us to get the stock back but it involves a lot of hiccups to lock the bootloader back. I struggled for hours to make it work and I accept my failure and that is fine. So finally I have to do uh, Nails way and I have to thank him for having a backup of all partition and sharing it with all. Thanks Nail for your work towards the realme community. Okay, let's start the work. First, you have to download the fastboot backup partition file. It nearly comes like 5 to 6 GB, so that is there. Also, as you already know, if you are having a Realme pad that has both LTE and the Wi Fi, then your code is 2102. If you are having a Realme pad that has only the Wi Fi, then your code is RMP2103. Download the files accordingly. I will leave the link in the description. As soon as you have the backup file, you also need few lines of fastboot commands to help the images in its own partition. So don't worry, I have pasted it in a text file with the link of the backup file that you can get it from the realme pad goodies drive. Now you have both. Well, what to do? First, in your realme pad, disable the passcodes and pin. Currently, our arrow OS is not encrypted, but still, if you are watching it in future uh, with some other custom ROM, it is always good to remove the security. Once it is done, make sure you have backed up all your files and data because you are going to format all the stuff, so nothing will be there. Now, reboot to recovery mine doesn't boot to recovery so i have to boot it to bootloader and then from uh, i have to flash the twrp and boot so finally once you are in twrp wipe all partition and format the data you don't need to format the external partition external storage after watching all these videos in this series, you should know how to do this. Warning, doing this process will erase all your data, hence have a backup of all your data. Before proceeding any further, I request you guys to extract the backup file which is A0, A08 and copy the platform tool files and paste inside that folder so that you can directly access the tool from the same folder where you have your images are present. Once you paste the, all the files of the platform tool inside the A08 backup, just to open CMD inside that particular folder. You know how to do it. Once you have the CMD inside that folder, type ADB reboot bootloader. It will boot to fastboot. Yeah, now you can open the command sheet. You also can keep the comments uh, side by side with the CMD as I am having in the screen right now. Here I already have some 13, 14 commands which I will copy paste into CMD and execute one by one. Thank you. 
Also here we have command to reboot to fast boot so you need to type uh, further command only when it is finished booting fast boot. Also, in the total of 5 to 7 GB of that uh, backup A08, the super partition alone is 5 plus GB. So, recognizing and executing that fast boot flash super super IMG will take a couple of minutes. So, don't panic. After flashing super, I will reboot to fast boot. By fast boot reboot, fast boot. Now in fast boot, I will wipe the user data. Wait, once you do fast boot dash w, please wait. This is important part. You either directly can reboot to your stock ROM or you can lock the bootloader back and reboot. Here I am going to lock the bootloader just to show you guys. For that, after doing fast boot dash w, I will reboot to the bootloader. Because I typed the locking command in the fast boot, it didn't work well. So I am just rebooting to bootloader by using fast boot reboot bootloader. Once I am in the bootloader, I will type fast boot flashing lock, which will prompt the option in your tab. Volume up to yes, down to no. Here I am selecting volume up button and locking the bootloader back. Now nothing much, just a fast boot reboot. Hopefully it will boot without any yellow or red card. Now there is no secured weird warning so good sign.
great we have successfully reverted back with the locked boat loader like earlier let us wait for the first boat as we already know it takes some time so let's wait okay it is boot on now let me complete the frp so that's all guys we have uh, reverted and relocked the bootloader this is where the realme pad development is fulfilled and uh, from the start to end that's what about this video feel free to join our uh, telegram group and on tech fancies and the realme pad community to connect with similar minded people so yeah thank you for all your love and support thank you for watching code moto